Today I have a video that I've been excited to make for quite some time because the product that is in this box is something that I've been excited about ever since I first heard about it quite a while ago. Without any further delay, let's just get right on into it with this extremely old and dull knife. At this rate, I feel like I could break the knife before I break that. So the thing inside this box is something that has been in the works for quite a while and it is available now. And you've seen in the title and thumbnail what it is. So let's just start talking about it. There's also actually something extra in this box. Boom. So there's a couple things in here. Three things in here. The thing that I'm excited about is this new thing right here, which is called the Circle Jerk from Alienation. And before we start talking about that, this is what I'm excited to show, let's talk about what's in this box. And as I open it here, let's talk about what's inside. So we got some bolts in here, but you may notice that this, this hub is polished. And you guys probably remember, if you don't take a look back at my bike build series, where I removed the anodizing and polished one of these hubs myself, then had it laser engraved with the Alienation logo. This is the Tin Man hub in the polished version. So what I did was essentially a trial run to see what it would look like. And then now we have production hubs that are going to be coming out in this polished colorway with the engraved Alienation logo. I'm stoked for this. I will be putting this onto my bike and riding this one now. That is so sick. We have a couple extra of these uh, end pieces. I'm glad that these are also black on this because the accent of them just looks good. Then the bolts with washers on them are here as well. So let's set that aside and get to the part of the video that I am excited even more so to show you guys. So the circle jerk is essentially, as we open this, a chain tensioner. You might wonder how that works and I can show you as soon as I pull one out here. So what this is, is a washer on this side that you can see. But if you look at the other side, there's metal here, which basically just fills the void in your dropout to pretty much make your dropout the exact length that you need it to be. So as you can see here, we have the 14, 7.5 to eight millimeter option. The rotation that you have this thing in is what determines which size you will be using. And there are a ton of options with these things. So there is 3 8 options and 14 millimeter options in all of these sizes. So we have 1.5 and 2, 2.5 and 3, 3.5 and 4, 4.5 and 5, 5.5 and 6, 6.5 and 7, and 7.5 and 8. I have the 7.5 and 8 and the 14 millimeter option. All right, so we've done enough talking about these things. Let's actually demonstrate how you put them onto your bike. It's a very, very simple process, but uh, we'll show you guys anyways. So before you even buy these things, you're gonna wanna go to your bike, and you're gonna wanna take off your hardware from your axle or take the bolt out. And you're gonna wanna get a measurement of the point, the space between your axle and the front of your dropout. And to show you that a little better, let's get a little bit closer. So here's a closer look. You're going to want to measure the distance between the bottom of your dropout and where your axle sits when it's actually being used. So sometimes when you loosen up your axle nut or bolt, your wheel will shift a little bit. You're going to want to compensate for that. And to install the circle jerk, you literally just slide it onto your axle. And if you look very closely here, you can see that it doesn't actually bottom out in my dropout. That's because on this bike, my current setup is actually larger than the sizes that Alienation offers, but I wanted to show you guys how these things actually work because this is such a cool concept. I mean, it literally just makes where your dropout's at further forward to be where you need it to be. It's essentially a chain tensioner that makes you have a slammed wheel at all times because that is not going to move. 
So in this case, you could put your washer back on. I'm pretty sure it would be okay if it replaced your washer, but then you would just put it back on. And you're gonna wanna get an accurate measurement here because these things only have a 0.5 millimeter adjustment whenever you flip them. So then you'd just tighten that down and then you'd be good to go. Now, one thing you wanna consider on your peg side is if you have pegs that have the anti-rotation pins because this obviously takes up the space that that would be using. So that's definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to think about. Maybe you just run one of these on one side to get that side of your wheel exactly where it needs to be and then adjust the other accordingly from there. Or maybe you don't have anti-rotate pins in your pegs and it doesn't matter for you anyways. Either way though, it's a simple, yet elegant solution to a problem that some people have in just the frustration of getting your wheel where you want it to be and where it needs to be. And then also the concept of having your wheel essentially be slammed, but exactly where you'd want it or need it to be with your proper chain tension to your liking and just how far back you might want it in your dropouts. Some people, whenever they slam their wheels, just have to deal with whatever they get with their chain, whether it's too tight or too loose or whatever it might be. This allows you to determine that for yourself. So I really like this concept and let's run over the specs on it once more here. So it's available in 14 millimeter or 3 8 options in 0.5 millimeter increments from 1.5 all the way up to eight. For example, the smallest size, you get two options because you can flip them and you get 1.5 and two millimeters up from there, 2.5 and three, all the way up until you get to 7.5 and eight millimeters respectively. I didn't even consider the fact that I could have put the half link master link piece in this chain and move it forward whenever I said, well, I'll just show people how you install this and talk about it even though my bike as it sits is bigger than the range that is offered. I also didn't think about the fact that my front brake bike has a smaller gap in here and I should check that because it definitely would fit the options that are available. Either way though, thank you to Alienation for sending me these to talk about with you guys. I'm excited to get that front hub laced up and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're considering getting a pair of these to essentially slam your wheel without it having to actually be slammed. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it enough that if you're new here or you haven't yet, you'll hit the subscribe button down below and that'll mean we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.